All right, what's up guys? So real fast before I get into it, um, as I said a while ago, I wanted to start picking up more on YouTube, doing vlogs, full day of eatings, workouts for you guys. So I thought what better way to, I guess, kick off this more YouTube videos um, than just sharing with you guys my entire fitness journey. Um, I'm really sorry if this is a long video. Clearly you don't have to watch it all. I just really like knowing everybody's story, you know, like what made them like they are, that kind of thing. So I am going to jump right into it. I was a gymnast for 10 years and being a gymnast, obviously it's better to be on the lighter side. You know, technically like you're supposed to eat healthy, but actually a lot of gymnasts just eat shit because they work out so much that they are basically burning off almost everything. Um, so I was not a very healthy child. I was one of those kids that in middle school who who went into lunch and you know had maybe two bites of their sandwiches and then went for the candy. I used to have like three candy bars a day. It's like pretty bad. And so I never really thought about my weight in any sort of way. You know, gymnastics, like they weren't like, oh, you need to weigh a certain amount or anything. But I ended up switching gyms in sixth grade. And on this team, I was, I'm sorry if I looked down at my phone. Um, I kind of like wrote out things that I want to touch on so I don't ramble. I was the heaviest one on this team. And some of the topics that were addressed in practice would just kind of be, um, nutrition or weight and they would address it to all of us but I kind of maybe it wasn't directed at me but I kind of felt like it was because like I was the heaviest one and it was pretty clear I was also the more developed one and I was also one of the oldest ones so I guess that's how I kind of started looking at myself differently I was actually approached about my weight in gymnastics and my coach don't get me wrong like my coaches were just looking out for my best interest they had noticed that I st was starting to struggle with a lot of my routines like my body was just getting tired and I wasn't able to perform as well as I had um, in the previous months and it probably did have a lot to do with my diet but being so young I don't know I mean I quit when I was 15 so I was maybe like 13 when this happened, like being so young, just even having weight there as a factor in my life was just really stressful on me, I think. Um, and that's when I kind of started to look at my body differently and see that, or I didn't think I was overweight, but I just knew that I was heavier than all the other gymnasts on my team. And it definitely made me feel uncomfortable, especially when something like nutrition or weight would come up because I felt like it was always, everybody knew it was me. When I quit, I guess I kind of leaned to Fitspo's on Instagram. I just kind of came across it. Like since I was a gymnast for 10 years, like I was f from the, it, blah, 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 can I talk, please? From the time I was five to the time I was 15, like I was a gymnast. So I had no idea what to do with my free time. I was like, what is this? So, you know, obviously social media was a big thing, still is. Um, I saw all these Fitspo and I was like, that's what I wanna look like. Um, and it was these like shredded, shredded girls. Like this is not just your average, like, oh, that girl has a flat stomach, I want one, no. Like, I wanted to be ripped, I wanted to be perfect. Like, I was like, I want these glutes, these shoulders, these abs, like, you know, as if I could like pick them off of people and put them on me. And I would always have like gold bodies. I never really understood that you can't change your frame. This is when I really started to get into my body image issues. Um, I did not have a positive body image. I just felt big. I would, I remember I would like pinch my sides, like almost to try and remind myself that I had fat to lose or something. And I remember like, I would just look at myself in the mirror all the time and I would be like, oh, I want this gone or I want that gone. And I was just way too hard on myself. So one of my New Year's resolutions was to eat clean, 100% clean, and I did that for about six weeks. But what I didn't realize was during those six weeks, I would classify it now as disordered eating. Um, 
And just if you don't know what disordered eating is, it's not that you have like a clinical like eating disorder or anything. It's just that you have irregular eating patterns and they're not always the healthiest. So just two stories that kind of like sum up those six weeks. I remember there was one time that I was sitting on the couch and I remember I was like, okay, like I have no more food to eat today. Like I have to stay healthy. I have to stay healthy. And I just wanted a cookie. And I had one cookie and I went out and after I had the cookie, I went outside and I ran and I ran six miles. And for me, like I do not run, like I do not even run a mile. And just to run six miles after one cookie, like that's pretty bad to think that I need to run six miles to run off a cookie. First off, you don't even need to run off the cookie, just eat it. But when at that time, I was just so set on this clean eating. And then another time I had a dream that, so I had like this clean eating streak and I would do like, I would count the days that I could, how many days in a row I could eat clean. Um, and I had a dream that I like had a few cookies or cupcakes, or whatever junk food I was eating. And I literally woke up and I was like, oh my God, like, I'm so glad I didn't eat that food. Like my streak is still here. Like I was just so obsessed with this streak and it was not healthy at all. I just remember like coming home from school and just looking in the mirror and like picking up things that I needed to fix. I don't really remember like what my turning point was from that type to like what I'm like now. There wasn't, I don't really remember like a set time. I just remember I would try to run off or do some type of cardio to run off like any type of junk food that I ate. And it just overall developed a really bad relationship with food. When I found out about macros, I pretty sure I found out about it um, on YouTube. Pretty sure I found out about it on YouTube, but when I found out about it, it pretty much, I would like to think that it, that it saved me because if I had kept going down that clean eating path, not that cleaning, clean eating is bad, like if you can 100% eat clean, go for it, but for me, it was having that bad relationship with food if i was if i continued down that path like there i don't know what it would have led to but i do not think it would have been good or healthy or anything of that sort and just you know having this idea in my head that these macros i could eat still eat junk food just really was relaxing to me and that's how I started cutting macros. Um, I started tracking on my own. I was still pretty hard on myself. Honestly, like now that I'm thinking about it, like there's like a chunk in my life, like after gymnastics, after I did the whole clean eating thing, there's just a chunk in my life that like I don't really remember. And I think it was summer at this point, so I had a lot of time on my hands again, and I was just sit on YouTube every day, and I eventually started watching videos on how to be happy and how to love myself and that sounds kind of ridiculous I guess just because it's like what do you mean how to be happy like but I guess I was at the point where I felt like I needed somebody to tell me like how to be happy because I was not happy with myself I was not happy socially just when you look at yourself in a negative light it just it really taints like everything after this, I think in the back of my mind, like I knew something about my attitude and my mental health needed to change. So after watching these videos, I started complimenting myself in the mirror. Um, and I still tell people this all the time. Like you shouldn't be ashamed if you don't feel good about yourself. Like there are plenty of people that absolutely hate their body and you know, that's not okay. And I think obviously everyone should try to either talk to someone or do something to uh, turn that around. So this is what I did. I started complimenting myself in the mirror and what, what I would do is um, just once a day or I think I might have even done it three times a day, I would stand in front of the mirror and I would pick out five things that I loved about myself. And I remember there are a few times where I would start saying, or I would start thinking about things that I didn't like, or I would try to be like, oh, I really like my stomach today. And then I would kind of think like, wait, no, I don't. Um, anytime that would happen, I would just walk away from the mirror, 
give myself a break, come back to the mirror, say five things. And I did it until I said five things confidently that I loved about myself. And that ultimately really, really helped me. Like, I don't know, just hearing it and, you know, smiling about yourself, like, overall it helps you mentally after that i was you know still into macros i kind of did like a lot of my own research on it you know what's carb cycling what was reverse dieting all these different things kind of playing around with it um and this was almost like a transitioning point for me i had finally realized that you know the clean eating wasn't mentally healthy for me i had finally realized that i should love myself as my body and not try to look like somebody on Instagram um, you know everybody I finally realized every body type is different and I need to be happy with mine and then I just you know kept going through high school counting macros I did my own cut I did my own reverse diet which was into my freshman year of college and then my first year of college you guys probably already know of at least majority of this but just to keep the keep the ball rolling um, I thought I was ready to compete and honestly as you guys can tell from my pre previous video I felt like I was falling back into that mentality to when I was that 15 year old girl who couldn't stop seeing flaws in the mirror and who wanted to look like this person and that person and was just not happy. When I realized that, obviously, I pulled out of prep. Anyway, I'm not looking into powerlifting. I have more of a mentality now. Like, this is, I've almost like rebounded from prep, if that makes sense. Like, I just kind of like reevaluated everything. And I'm now, my mentality is more toward getting stronger. Um, having fun in the gym, looking forward to going to the gym. Like I remember the last few weeks of my workouts for prep, I hated going to the gym because they were all like circuit style and I hate circuits. But I don't want to be like every other girl who's trying to be lean. Not that there's anything wrong with that. I'm just saying I want to do what I want to do. And right now that is becoming stronger and you know, just getting stronger. <laughs> so yeah, I am looking into powerlifting. I wanna compete in the fall. Oh yeah, and if you are one of those girls who just has a um, relatively low body image or bad body image, um, definitely try out the mirror thing. I know it sounds silly, but it helps tremendously. Like I'm telling you, if you start saying something bad about yourself, just walk away. Just walk away, give yourself a rest, come back, do it every single day. Like I was very strict with myself with that. Like I made myself do it because I was just tired of thinking so poorly about myself. But um, definitely give that a shot if that is something that sounds good to you. Um, yeah, if you have any other questions, you can leave them down below. Alright, goodbye.